Imagine glancing up at a glass building and suddenly kilowatts and dollar signs are flowing through your mind. That's what happened to material scientist and chemical engineer Richard Lunt. We've taken solar and kind of flipped it on its head. With support from the National Science Foundation, Lunt and his team at Michigan State University are developing transparent solar panels. We've turned traditional solar cells as these opaque, maybe not so exciting devices to devices that can be completely clear, completely transparent. So it allows you to think about integrating it in completely new ways. A big hurdle is making them more efficient. Traditional solar panels soak up much of the sun's light and convert it to energy. A transparent panel has to let visible light shine through. So the light we can't see with our eyes, like ultraviolet and infrared, has to do the work. In this solar cell, we have very thin coatings of these organic materials and inorganic nanostructure materials that are selectively harvesting the parts of the solar spectrum that you can't see with your eye. We're in the Molecular and Organic Excitonics Laboratory, and this is the heart of where we do a lot of what we do. Another challenge is making the photovoltaic cells transparent. So the team came up with ways to layer patterns onto the cell in a way that makes them uniformly clear. We actually use a variety of different stencils to actually pattern our devices. And each active material will have its own pattern. After every layer, we put down a new stencil, and in this way we can build up very complex structures. This one is so that you can see the pattern, and this, this one is how you would not see the patterning. Material science engineer Margaret Young is testing whether the same process can be used on thin plastic. This is much lighter and much more flexible. So instead of rebuilding windows, we could just put this over an existing window. With the square footage of glass that's on our skyscrapers and on our buildings, there's so much square footage that can be used to generate power. Lund says his transparent cells are already pretty inexpensive to make. And really, I think in the next 20 years, we'll see this type of technology get deployed so that it's all around us, generating power in the background. So really turning our cities and our landscape into solar harvesting systems, solar harvesting surfaces, and solar farms, and really creating a lot of power and not even knowing that it, it's there. Transparent solar cells. There's a lot more going on here than meets the eye. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.